The apartment is located in Varazze. It's an old town on the Mediterranean coast in Liguria. This is the summer house of my client. The client wanted an apartment to be used from two or four people that could enjoy the space and the privacy. I like the idea to use a few defined multifunctional architecture elements with the purpose of maximizing the space. I'm an Italian architect and uh, I'm specialized in interior and furniture design with big interest in uh, multifunctional and flexible spaces. Varazze is famous for its old churches, for kilometers of sandy beaches and uh, beautiful promenade. It's very famous for uh, Milanese uh, tourists because it's only about uh, two hours far from uh, Milan. The building has been built in the 40s. It has always been a residential building and uh, it has been recently renovated. Beside the restaurant on the ground floor, the building is occupied by permanent residents and the tourists. The attic building stands in front of the shore. You have a fantastic view over the Mediterranean Sea. When I first found the apartment, uh, it was one big studio with a bathroom. I didn't make any change to the floor plan. I just add one custom-made furniture that integrates all the functions and it works like an architecture piece that divides the bedroom to the rest of the apartment. The entrance is exactly in the middle of the apartment and is featured by the presence of a multifunctional table. When the table is closed, you have a generous lobby that is connected with a balcony and with a sea view. When the table is open, you have a dining room. The table is from a company clay with a rotating mechanism and a befold opening system. The living area is very cozy, very bright, thanks to the presence of a skylight. We have two elements that uh, characterize the space. A lower white uh, lacquered furniture located at the base of the pitch roof that provide a TV rack, a storage uh, space and a bar. And in front of it, a dynamic wall featured by the integration of storage, uh, a walnut uh, bookshelves and a fold down transforming bed uh, this system allows, uh, in the daytime, a big living area for guests. In the night, it's a real double bed, always ready to be used at any time because it's fast and easy to open. The bed is opened and closed using a handle positioned on the front shelf. When open, the front shelf pivots to become a support of the bed and you don't have to remove any object from it. The kitchen is a full height block that follows the pitch roof lines. The kitchen is fully equipped with refrigerator, hot plate, oven and a dishwasher. It has a lot of storage space that is covered by white lacquer doors. I put a floor-to-ceiling mirror at the end of the corridor between the door of the bathroom and the door of the bedroom to enlarge the prospective space. 
The sleeping room is the most complicated part of the apartment probably because it's where the two pitch roofs are meeting and they live in very few square meters available. It has a king bed that has a storage underneath. Then we have a lower block based at the end of the pitch roof, provided in the TV rack and plenty of storage. The wardrobe has a back part of the centerpieces that divides the bedroom from the rest of the apartment. Through the other sliding door, you can access to the bathroom that has a very light finishings. There is also a skylight on the roof and a big mirror that also enlarges the prospective space. It has a built-in basin with the washing machine hidden underneath. We install a bleached oak on the floor throughout the apartment to give continuity to the space. I used a lot of indirect light to emphasize the architecture structure. I combine it with many small spotlight all around the flat. There is no reason to let your square meters limit both the aesthetic and the functional potential of your home. Good design allows you to experience a small unit not as a compromise, but as a lifestyle choice. To maximize the potential of micro units, I believe that good design requires to integrate multifunctional and flexible solutions. Thanks for watching. To receive updates on our latest episodes, please subscribe and click the notification bell. And if you're an architect or designer with a project we could feature, please share it with us at nevertoosmall.com/submissions.